do the, the 97 let's episode do the, four, man. Let's do that thing. Yo, Motendo. How do we feel about uh, uh, Mojo freaking world so, coming back? I fucking loved it. I, I thought it was dope. I, uh, I, fuck, I Dude, I fucking, I was in. My, you know, my feelings were hurt. <laughs> when he was all emaciated, I was like, <laughs> what in the hell is even that? Yo, Jubilee said it. She was like, you've been losing weight, huh? <laughs> like, Yo. I was like, bro, what? But then, you know, you know, they gave him back his thing. So he got back his mojo. And, um, you know, he did mojo, mojo type things. And it was cool yeah, it was, to see it happen. It was cool. I loved uh, I loved all the eight bit stuff they threw in there, like the the sound at the beginning of the episode yeah. with like the Marvel thing. The dude, the the actual X Men game looking like the freaking X Men game from the nineties was sick. That's that, that's how you do it. That was cool. You, you got a little you got a little uh, Sauron in there. You got Word, a, he yeah. it down. I was like what? Uh-huh. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, you also um, got Gladiator in there too. That's right. Yep. You saw you saw a little snippet of Gladiator. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wolverine, him fighting Wolverine. Um, who was the who was the, who's the woman with all the arms again? She was back. Spiral. Um, it, uh, spiral yeah. Oh, spiral. 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 Right, spiral. Yeah. And then um and then even like the last fight with like older Jubilee. I, I kind of liked her costume. I thought it was dope. Yeah. Yeah, the older Jubilee. Yeah, that's that. See, that costume leads me to believe is that we're going to get the name that I said we're going to get. In this in this series, which is going to tie into a very great series, since we have Scott being a badass, we have everybody being hyped up the way they're supposed to be I'm hyped being up. Being a real bitch right now. <laughs> exactly. I'll never abandon my son. Leaves the room. I can't do this. What? <laughs> so yeah, so you have all that good, all the goodness that we got from the eight bit. We got a lot, a lot thrown at us in this episode. Yeah, you know the part that I like. Which part did you like? I like the other half of the episode. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Now you walking. Now you're walking my lines. And that's where I'm at. Of course. And then and of course the, Leo Leo calling the entire forge. Uh, I mean, well, the minute I the yeah. minute I saw him, I you knew, knew what was going to happen. Yeah. I was just hoping that they would tell you the story. You know, like you could see it play out. And... Yeah. How about like the horror elements in this episode too? There was some. Uh, for the oh, horror yeah, the, the, yeah, the freaking yeah. that owl. What the hell was up with the owl? Uh, that's basically, it's one of her, since Storm is really a goddess, Mm -hmm. she's always been a goddess, but she never knew. Those are, those are spirits from her, from her realm that always will stick with her and always follow her. So they won't, they will not attack her while she's strong. So they only take the opportunity to take, because Storm in the comic books lost her powers like about four or five times, you truthfully be honest. Because they saw how good it did with uh, Madeline. The series did good with Madeline with Storm losing her powers. It was one of the most sold comic books. Right. Because she was so beloved in the comic books. And you finally getting to see the whole uh, emotion. Like I said, the emotion behind Storm losing her powers is nothing. I, that's the one thing that great that I have. It's nothing yeah. like what we're getting here. Because she goes yeah. she goes into a deep yeah, fucking look at that, depression. Man. Looks looks brutal she goes through a very deep depression mm-hmm. and also we got magneto back in his suit for you guys that wanted him back in the yeah suit. that I was did. that was cool so he, he should have been <laughs> look, at, yes. look at mojo oh man it's crackhead mojo <laughs> who did i said who did i said this was last week Lindsay lohan <laughs> oh what see now now it, now it more more or less stop Sorry. i mean it's more or less a confirmation i don't know stop i mean it's not yeah. There are no coincidences. I mean, come on, look at this eight bit. That How is, sick is that. Well, that's not eight, bro. Oh well, sixteen, at least sixteen. I mean, well, it's an arcade game, so probably thirty. Thirty-two. Yeah, that yeah, that was the arcade game. The yeah, one with was, when you go, when you saw Sauron come in, that yeah. I think was a sixteen. It looked cool, man. Either way, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah, but when Storm, how did you guys feel when Storm gave fucking Forge that novella slap? Yeah. Oh he man. It. He deserved it. He sure I did. Loved it. Who Look at this kidding? guy. Look at this Rico Suave <laughs> looking boy. <laughs> <laughs> this <is> Rico Suave. <laughs> Yo, Forge does look like Rico Suave. <laughs> Storm, I just want to know how much I loved you. I love you. No. What did the five fingers say in the face? He, he sound like the number one stalker, bro. <laughs> he do. <laughs> yeah, he yo, like he do. Literally riding into the sunset together. Yeah, but the thing is, 
I love the emotion that they gave when Storm fell to her knees. I love the emotion that when he put her into the machine and tried to give her her powers back and she couldn't move nothing. That whole bit was great. It was really, really, really fucking great. So I'm looking forward to see after she deals with this demon, how does it go from there? Is this the, the storyline of her and her consciousness? Or is this the storyline that we're going to have Forge actually set shit right? Yeah. I think she I think she actually might have got her powers back and just taken some time to like because well, cause what was the whole thing with um where she um I believes in her dream that she rides but, off that cliff and then she ends up back at Forge's house. But she and, came through the ceiling. She came through the ceiling. So yeah. I, I think that she probably actually has them back and just has not realized. They it. might they might just need to manifest it. Yeah. And the thing and the thing is also I'm thinking that this is all ties in with Sinister. Because these are the kind of games that he loves to fucking play. He plays the long game, dude. He doesn't play no short, quick, I'm going to take you. Because he wants to build the perfect mutant. That way he can take over the world. Mm-hmm. And then we all, well, shit, also we got the fucking Savage Lands, finally. Yo, that was crazy. <laughs> that was cool. That was another that was crazy. little snippet. Dude, I wish also, they had to spend a little more time in the Savage Lands. I ain't going. I mean, we really do. Yep. Yeah, dude, we really fucking do. I'm sure. Do you think we'll get back there before the season I ends? I don't know. It's it's kind of yeah. tight. It's 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 where fucking uh, Sinister's home base is at. Is in the Savage Lands. Oh, so we're get we're going back there. Yeah, we should be going back there because I. The one thing that that threw me off is that he didn't tell her. He just said, "I made weapons." For the for the people that would, t- uh, but he tried to play it off as an excuse, which wasn't a line in the fucking comic. But I'm, this is me nitpicking. So the line should have been, "I you, made the weapon." You <laughs> nitpicking? What? That's so crazy! Yeah, I, I've yeah. never heard of that. You, you. Has anybody else ever seen Leo? I've I'm never seen that. Leo. I've never seen like that, he's bro. usually so like open yeah, cool about things and just let's let's let let's, right. let's, let's let it ride. Like, you know, okay. She Hulk twerking. Cool. Let it ride. It's that was know, a great scene. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, Hulk, let it ride. Got that right. You had a bar, bro. A I bar. Mean, My I mean, kind of guy. He technically, he technically did say it. I mean, he told that he created the prototype to uh-huh. you know the gun that you know got right. her. He just didn't make the actual he just, gun. He just, but, he just didn't say man. that I built it. All these, all these, but the, they said I built a prototype. But they, he showed the, she had the collar. That's what really fucking took it to over the edge. So uh-huh. you were, you gave him a prototype, and you think they wouldn't be able to figure it out? Okay, it took him longer. Like she said, this just doesn't dissolve you. You're trying to dissolve me, and I love the way uh, the original Storm actress is portraying her voice with a strong, fucking undertone and she's bringing it back and forth every in in and out of that second that second part of the episode like when she smacks him she brings on i am the queen when she's trying to get her power i am the queen of the, of the of wind and but when she's saying all that but then she breaks her back down again when she start realizing shit i might not ever get my fucking powers back it's a great adaptation of of highs and lows for storm and showing mm-hmm. The, the goddess that she is. They only got they only got a couple minutes to do it. Like you know, they did this on the mm-hmm. on the tail yeah, end of I, like, you know I, I, something I, minute episodes. So. Yeah, I was gonna say I actually looked at the episodes. I'm like ah, 25 minutes, but like they packed a lot in that 25 minutes. Like yeah. I was impressed. So it's sounds like like it's story driven to me. What what do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm just taking a shot in the dark here. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Sounds like sounds like stories. Yep. Yeah, um, just yeah. a couple comments here. So Jubilee definitely shined in this episode, and Storm slapped the ish out of Forge, and then Sunset and Jubilee sitting in a tree. Y'all know the rest. Oh. But honestly, I dude, I I need to see some Sunstorm. Uh, a su- freaking Sunstorm? Jesus Christ. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not. I need to see his powers. All right. I can't. I can't. I mean, yeah. Sunspot needs to do Thank you. what he does. <laughs> like this whole one arm thing, like yo, come on, bro. Just yeah, like, come on, let's get the whole thing. Just let it go, let it already. loose, bro. Just let get, it just, go. get your hot. super tan on. Yeah, correct. <laughs> and then we finally got him speaking Portugal. 
Yeah, Portuguese. Sorry, sorry, not Portugal. Portuguese. <laughs> I mean, and look, and, it, and in that whole entire endeavor, like if you didn't catch it, like Magneto was like, you know, you need to spend more time in the danger room honing your skills, you know. But she decided to play a video game instead. But guess what? She ended up doing honing her skills. Now she got her a whole skills. New move. Yep, she, she mounts, learned she the older her. Yep. Let's go. Yo, the Don't older her, her, bro. Older yeah. her was a vibe. And fun fact, uh, <laughs> older her was voiced by the original Jubilee. Yeah, I don't right know if you guys, was. yeah, I don't yeah. know if you guys knew, but oh, oh, well, listen, when I listen to it, yes, yeah, it just takes you heard me it, home. right? It yeah. takes me home. Mm-hmm. And I'm loving the Jubilee sunglasses. Those things, that's good, dude. This is gonna be a costume at Comic Con. Oh yeah, yeah. No oh, oh my god. Uh, all those, all those oh, costumes god. are coming back. What? They're, they're doing it. And the jack. rumor is, yellow the rumor jack. is, by the end of the I series, would. they're all going to be suited up differently. That's the rumor. So really? we, we're going to get some new suits. I mean, listen, it's it's kind of inevitable. Like I feel like they they're going to they, they're they, going to they, bring them they're going to bring them somewhere. You know what I mean? So I'm going to come out with her uh, vest. Nah, she. I don't think she comes out with her vest. I think we're going to get Storm uh, House of M. I would like to get a mix between like um, like you know how you, you know how they've been f- I, and I kind of now that I'm thinking about it I've noticed it a lot they've been foreshadowing the picture of like when they were the original X Men and they had the mm-hmm. blue suits with like the yellow lines like mm-hmm. it'd be cool if we had a mix of that and like their suits and like they made it a little bit um, you know individually like that but not like that you know what I mean that might be cool if they do something oh, like that and and the nugget in the background we have a picture of the uh, X Force. Yeah, I was gonna say oh, X Force and that. um, they had X Force and then the um uh, Hell's Angels, right? Oh, not Hell's Angels. Yep. The, what is it? Um, what's their uh, name? Eight something Angels. Oh, the fire. Hellfire. Hellfire. That's what it's Hellfire. Yeah, Hellfire yeah, yeah. Academy. Yeah. Yep. So we had that in the background. So, dude, if they do that, so it's I, I'm lo- I'm lo- I'm loving the way they're taking this because they have so much animation right now that they can do. That hasn't been done since X Men animation. So, if you give me animation first, and then you give me live action or the animation special presentation, then more and then movie. Oh, right. Now that have a good build up. You're doing too that, much. You're doing that, too that, much. That, you're giving good. too much. You're giving too much. You're giving too much. You're setting you're expectations. You're setting your uh, expectations up. Yeah, I am. I it am. Don't happen. I do, yeah. Just ride the wave, bro. Just ride the wave. Yep. I just want to get a check from Disney. Hey, I mean, look, listen to me. <laughs> I mean, look, a hey, mouse. Listen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm here for you. Uh, just, Man uh, Cave Tor- is all of us are here for you. Give you some good ass fucking ass. Torin just, Torin just looked up the Stormhouse of M costume. He sees yeah. why Chase got excited. I mean, you see that, bro? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. You talk about a different level, Magneto. <laughs> The headdress and then the little buckle in the man, listen, dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah dog. You want to talk God. about storm? Yeah, and, no. yeah, okay. I'm gonna give you guys a little snippet, yeah, because well, this was a part, this is a part one, right? Part one of two episodes, yeah, yeah. part two coming up next week. All yeah, right, they, they actually skip, so they're gonna give us something different next week, and then the week after, it's gonna get oh, is that what it? Oh, okay. I, that, okay. I just get I get that from reading the episode, yeah, nice. Uh, Guys, remember I told you the person that you guys should be get looking up to? The book drop, the book price dropped. Get Matthew Malloy. Uncanny X Men, Volume Three, Number Twenty Three. Pick that up. Okay. You heard it here. All right. You Pick it up it here because it's going to be a fucking thing, no matter what. what. Going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing, no matter what. Going to be oh, a wait. thing. Who said again? What number? Uh, number 23. Okay, X Men number 23. Yeah, volume three, number 23. And also, volume three. Yes, volume three of X Men. Interesting. Also, we did get a extra scene since you guys don't skip the damn, don't skip the music. You got an extra scheme, you got an extra scene of Professor X. Yep, in the army uniform, right? Yes, yeah, he's coming back, man. It's only a matter of time. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they gotta bring him back there's no so, way they don't bring him back so without saying much please pick up that issue and when you guys make money 
shoot a little bit like five percent, two percent your to your boy this way. I have an, <laughs> to your boy. I have an addiction. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> I need um, to feed this addiction. <laughs> all right. So I mean, listen, we're four episodes into X Men ninety seven. How 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 are we are we feeling great about this still? Of course. You know? Nobody's Good. going. No, nobody's going anywhere. Right. Oh fuck no. You know, we ain't I'm saying. Home. We right. go. We're getting we getting features from X Men's from the comic book that we didn't get it from the animation style, yep. and they're looking that they're, they're acting the right way. Mm-hmm. So you can't Please act. You, you can't ask for anything better right now. Right, it's it's going great, man. I just hope that I hope it just keeps going. The right, re- like the, this show is doing what Marvel shows haven't done in a while: actually stay good throughout the show. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> doesn't so, drop after the first episode or two yeah i mean like to be on episode four and we're still all we're the still way cooking in, we're cooking like we haven't had anything to say like yep. this is a filler episode and eh, they could have did better nah, man. we cooking okay. marvel's cooking